Hey, what is up, guys? And today we're going to be testing an ESC. Now, I haven't been this excited for ESC in a while just because of its price point and as well as the rating that it's theoretically rated for. So, this is the Racer Star Spork X Anniversary Edition 35 amp ESC, which is a Beal Heli S. 2 to 6s lipo yes 2 to 6s lipo and they're using big mosfets here so that's really nice so this can theoretically and possibly handle 6s so we'll see but today's video is going to be the 4s noise testing and just the overall bench testing here so they do provide you the heatsink now a while ago we saw these on the banggood window shopping if you are watching my channel and uh, i was really worried because i didn't see any capacitors for filtration on board which was really scary but I think they probably watched the video and they decided to add a low ESR capacitor. Now they did add a proper low ESR capacitor. It's a 25 volt, 330 microfarad Rubicon low ESR capacitor, which is really nice to see. So it doesn't really come with anything. You get these for $35. That is just crazy. So I have no idea how the hell these are going to test. And through the testing, I will test them as is. And I will not be removing the low ESR capacitor because obviously there's no filtration on board. So we're going to see how they come right out of the box. Now for wires, these two are silicone. So that's really nice and the signal is not really silicone so that it doesn't really matter it's like 35 bucks here for four ESCs that's crazy so let's take a look at the size of this because it is a thin ESC here so width is 14.34 millimeters length with the capacitor is around 48.9 millimeters height is 4.61 millimeters and board length without the capacitor is 37.5 millimeters so that's really nice and they're really light they're stating they're super light here around four grams or something so enough talking let me stick them on the bench and let's just get testing All right, guys, so the results are in and it's looking really good, actually. So they do have a capacitor on board and I didn't remove the capacitor because, again, there's no filtration on board. If I removed it, it would test really terrible and it might even blow out the ESC. So this is rated 2 to 6S LiPo. And again, the reason why I didn't remove it just yet is because I need to test on a 6S shootout since it's theoretically rated for 6S. So let's take a look at this. So the FETs on board look like they're pretty good. So it'll handle the 4S just fine, especially with that cap installed. This is an insanely good result here, like really good result, which means the ESC themselves are pretty decent. And with that low ESR capacitor, they're handling very nicely. So, and again, don't forget the price of these ESCs for four of them is $30, which is pretty crazy as well. So they are BL Heli S ESCs. And uh, also just side note, if you guys do like this content and you want to see more of this, please consider joining my Patreon. If I helped you avoid an ESC or purchase an ESC, that would be absolutely great to keep this channel afloat. And uh, it would be super awesome, guys. Or use the links down below. So let's continue on. So how did this test? This tested really nice. So let's start comparing it to other things right now. Uh, so let's see a couple ESCs that I have tested with a low ESR capacitor. So we can kind of get an idea here of how it is well let's just bring in the best esc of all which was the tico 32 and this is without a low esr capacitor i never tested this with a low esr capacitor so this is the tico 32 right here with the uh without a low esr capacitor just how it is just not the foreign one esc the normal the normal esc as you can tell here it's testing just as the tico 32 which is pretty remarkable actually uh there's nothing there's no weird jitters there's nothing it just looks really really clean here so yeah on the left side here we have the throttle noise level test which is 10 percent 25 percent throttle 50 75 and 100 percent throttle here is simulated aggressive flight maneuvers and uh, as you can tell on both tests they did it did really good um there's really nothing to say here obviously depending on how good the esc is if you put a capacitor on it with the fets the fets also have to be good switching in good order nothing is desyncing 
And this is what you would get. This is a perfect result here. So is with the Tico 32. This is actually performing slightly better than the Tico 32. But if we were to add a low ESR capacitor onto the Tico 32 ESCs, they would perform just as good here. So I kind of messed up right there. There we go. So overall, these ESCs are, they, well, they seem really good, especially if you're using them on a 4S, since this is a 4S test with the 2306-2450 KV in a very harsh setup with the Matek F405. It's the same test I do for everything. Oh, sorry, these are the Emacs 2306-2400 KV, uh, what I do for single ESCs. So yeah, exact same setup, exact same test, and uh, we got really good results, which is really nice to see. I think Razer Star is listening. And I might, and I do believe that uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more companies probably end up adding that low ESR capacitor pre-installed because some people get lazy and just not install them. And um, I can tell you this right now, if I were to remove it, I'd probably burn the ESC from the type of testing that I do. And um, overall, this is going on a budget build, definitely going on a budget build and definitely going on my ESC testing quad because these tests are remarkably good. Um, so yeah, well, that's all I got to say. It tested really nice and um, great job, Racer Star. And hopefully we get to see more of this. And uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the content. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And all the links are down below. If you can use those, those greatly help the channel keep afloat. And you can join my Patreon if you'd really like to support the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.